lot of people are not going to want to hear this, probably because they bought a lot of whey protein and now they're angry about it. I, I just, I want people to understand that whey is not giving you what you think you're getting. And primarily, the reason it became popular was because... Hi, my name is John Jaquish. I'm a doctor of biomedical engineering, which gives me a unique perspective on lots of things, nutrition, sports science, medicine, and general health related. Today, I'm going to talk about why whey protein is really not that great. Let's look at the history of whey protein. In, I believe, the late 80s, early 90s, there was a guy named Dan Duchesne. He wrote a book, it was like the Underground Athlete's Guide to something. And it's really just a book about performance enhancing drugs. And that's what Dan had always focused on. He thought that performance enhancing drugs were really what everybody should be interested in and maximizing as much as possible. So I, I didn't really agree with that philosophy. But the thing that made Dan rich is the interesting part of the story. What Dan did was he went to different dairies, milk farms, and he said, you know, all that stuff that you throw in the trash, all the whey, and that it, at the time, whey was just straight up waste. Like they just throw it away. He said, can I have that? And they said, yeah, sure. You're just lightening our garbage load, so go ahead. So then Dan took this powder or he took the whey and processed it so it would be a consistent powder and flavored it, and then put it in a product called Designer Whey Protein. Designer, right? That's marketing. So he took this trash and then told everybody it was the greatest thing for them. And the dude made millions. In itself, if somebody saw something that was of value and others didn't see it of value, then good for him. But here's the problem with that idea. Whey protein is 18% usable by the body, meaning 18% of what makes up whey is the proper combination of amino acids that actually can become human proteins when processed by the body. Now, there are quite a few studies that highlight how quickly whey is digested and how 100% of it is digestible. So a lot of people were celebrating that idea, especially the people who manufacture whey protein. Unfortunately, being digestible and being usable are not the same subject. So the usability of protein has everything to do with its amino acid composition. And if you have the right combination of amino acids, like this, for example, almost 100% usable by the body, Steak is 38% usable by the body. Eggs are, I want to say like 41 or 42% usable by the body. And mother's milk is 48% usable by the body. So there's a wide array. Oh, oh, and I should say vegetable sources of protein are typically around 9% usable by the body, which is why I really tell people to steer clear of that. You're just absolutely wasting your money. So whey is twice as good as vegetable sources, which is still not that great because if you think it's 18% usable, well, okay, so you slug down a giant shake, which is probably in a liter you know, bottle of water, and you think you're getting 50 grams of protein, but really it's only 18% usable. So you're really only getting nine grams out of that. Well, that's a lot of stuff to choke down for nine grams of protein. Like you could have done better by having a small piece of steak or a superior supplement like Fortigen. But it's not about Fortigen. I, I just, I want people to understand that whey is not giving you what you think you're getting. And primarily the reason it became popular was because most people buy cheap products. They don't buy good products because they don't even look into what's good. And especially when it comes to nutrition, it's mind blowing how people can respond to, you know, words like organic 
I mean, plutonium's organic. It occurs in nature. Does that mean you want to swallow some? So I don't think that, that judging this by any other means other than how usable is it should really be the discussion. And I just, I've just taken a position. I haven't had whey protein since I learned better, which was actually in high school. And I think I'm better because of it, uh, better digestion. And also if you share a living space with somebody who has a lot of whey protein, they don't smell so great uh, because they're always having gas. And so I just think, don't get ripped off. Don't believe in whey protein. Either eat some steak or you can go for Fortigen. I mean, even, even collagen protein, which I did another video about and explained how consuming collagen protein does not at all in any way contribute specifically to your own body's ability to build collagen. That's a complete marketing lie, but it's still more usable. So like beef protein's more usable than, than whey. I think whey is probably the lowest grade other than vegetable source protein. I mean, if somebody gave me a can of whey or like pea protein, eh, I'd probably thank them. And then when they weren't around, I'd just throw it in the trash. Uh, hope this helped. And please leave any questions because I know a lot of people are not going to want to hear this, probably because they bought a lot of whey protein and now they're angry about it. So feel free to kick and scream in the comments. If this video helped you, I want you to subscribe and follow. I'm gonna put out videos on a regular basis. I think they're gonna help a whole lot of people, especially if you're one of those people that doesn't just instantly grow from lifting regular weights. We've got the answer for you.